Good morning and welcome back to the Pyrenees. The uh, sun is just coming up. We've come down very early this, well, very early, before the sun's up anyway. Um, we are starting on a, another construction project. Um, we have to put in another wall. This is the final retaining wall to get all our levels correct from the garage and the driveway. And then that will give us a datum line for the house build. So it's another block of bonche, another concrete block wall um, filled with rebar and concrete cement. And um, we're going to start using all our little mini machines. So the little digger just here is in need of a slight repair. And I'm just going to show you that in a minute. Um, we've got the little mini skid steer that um, we got a couple of month or so ago. Yeah, probably a, a, just over a month ago. And the little uh, Delix mini dumper. And we're going to um, excavate some of the soil out of the side of the bank. And we're also going to dig the footings in readiness to put in some forming boards and get a footing poured, hopefully by the end of the week. And then we've got a delivery of all our blocks, rebar, everything else um, next week. So the issue I had with the mini digger, the excavator, I don't know if you remember, um, I had problems with the battery, starting, charging, all of that. Well, I think it came down to just a couple of cables. So this is the uh, original cable that came from the uh, ignition switch. And uh, it went basically all the way down underneath the engine and up to the starter motor and to the charge controller, the little charger. It's not an alternator, it's just a little solid state box. And um, they're probably the correct size of cable, but uh, something earthed. And I think that was the issue with the, char uh, the um, charging and the starting, and then progressively the battery going flat because it was going straight to earth. So um, pulled it all out. That's the original. It is horrible, as you can see. <laughs> Um, it's all melted, burnt out, and I've made up a new loom with larger cables, 6 mil. So I'm just going to run this into the uh, excavator and uh, get this little machine started. It hasn't been running all winter, so it's been under this tarpaulin near enough all winter, so we'll see how it goes. So this is where the uh, ignition switch goes. I've made a flying lead for the, uh, the switch. So it's not putting any pressure on the connectors. Right, other than a bit of tidying up, I think I've got all my cables in okay. Much, much better um, routing it that way. So let's see, after a winter under the tarp, I'm just gonna press down the isolation switch. And then, well, let's go. One click. Turns him on, and then there they. I 
And I know Ian's happy, he's got his digger working again, the little mini excavator. Something so simple, that starter switch. <laughs> Well, Julie's still getting the hang of the uh, the little dumper, but um, it seems to be going okay. I'm just trying to get to munch away at the bank a little bit just to give it um, a line, and then I'll bring in the mini skid and um, square it all off and flatten it all off. And then once I've got a section, um, a nice flat section, I can go in and just dig then the 40 centimeter uh, footing that we're gonna have.
end of phase one, basically flattening out um, that portion in front of the bank. And, uh, oh, that mini skid steer. <laughs> It was um, a couple of dumps in the uh, mini dumper for Judy to get up there, but then I could get a full bucket load and uh, whiz straight up and near enough beater. It was becoming a little race around the poles, up the slope, dump the the um, the muck, <laughs> and then back down the slope. But um, oh, it's flying. The only downside: it's quite a warm day today, and the heat from the back of the fan off the motor. Oh my gosh, Ian's legs were red hot. <laughs> So it's like a strip down, but again, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. We got a lot of it done. I'm not going to go too far into the bank, um, basically because there's lots of concrete boulders and things, and that's what's holding up the road. So um, the next phase is to start digging the uh, the footings. Yeah, exactly. So um, we're having a little rest. We'll mark out the footings. Um, they're going to be 40, 50 centimeters wide, and then. Uh, We'll get the mini excavator back out. Ian, do you realise this is the first work we're actually doing on the site where the house is going to be? We've crept over exactly. into phase two. So this is the um, the split point, basically, yeah. between the garage and the house, this one final retaining wall. So after that, we can uh, use that, as I said earlier, as a datum to start measuring and setting out for the house. It's exciting. 2024, here Ooh. we come. We're just trying to get a flat surface along this line here so we can work out our levels and set a line up to work out how we're doing these footings. Because there is quite a slope on this. So yeah. it's whether we have to step down or not or whether I can just dig it in. Once it's nice and smooth, we'll actually be able to see what we're working with. Okay, so that is um, one ten, one two three, two and a half, one ten, one twelve and a half. One twelve. Okay. Yep. That's one twelve and a half, but down here, and that is one six two. Cool. So say that's twelve, and this is sixty two. That's fifty half a meter difference. difference. Right, so now is a matter of putting our string line in just to get some sort of line. This is just the rough setting out for our footings. Once we've dug the footings, we can then set it out a little bit more. We're just working out, we're thinking we're going to have steps here, basically from this level up to the garage. This is the sort of lowest point of the wall. So this wall is going to be half a metre, a couple of feet shallower than down at the bottom. So we're thinking out the front door here and just up some corner steps up to here. It's about, this is the level here, it's about a metre high here. And then up to the uh, driveway so we can park the car, get the shopping or whatever, and just come down here, a little path straight into the kitchen. Oh, it feels weird talking about that. So, I'm just going to put this long line in. Yep. Right, just put this around here. So we will do it, so it's going to be 50, so 25 will be the face of the block. So if we went 20 and 20, I just, yeah. uh, hold on, uh, we actually want the face of the block to be about 10 there, don't we? 
Oh yeah, so it's not coming over here too much. And the drainage. Yeah, because we'll put the French drain in. So we will dig out to 50 here. Yeah. So if you blob a bit at the end and at 50, yeah, and then at 50. Okay, and then we'll just... Sporadically. Yeah. Go. And then you can go down in a long line. And it was pancake day yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we've got loads of flour left over. <laughs> they were selling like, was it 10 bags for five euro or something? Yeah. 50 cents a bag, it was too good an offer. Yeah, it's cheaper than using uh, marking paint. They'll think we're cheapskates, Ian. <laughs> and Julie will uh, sweep this up later and put it back. <laughs> yeah, you can have a pancake later. rid of the string and this pole Oop. so Ian's going to bring the mini digger and we're going to start digging from the left hand side and working our way down here to the far end and as Ian digs away I'm going to be at the side of him with my mini dumper offloading the dirt back up to our raised area just up there It looks a bit bad. You sniffing up this line of white powder. <laughs> Freya, it's even sadder that she's actually eating the flour that we've just put down to mark the foundations. Hey, folks, you inspecting? Dogs that want to dig as well as their dad. 
Okay, blob it. So just doing the final section of wall. We're just going to come along here. Well, it's more than two meters, but we may as well just dig it. Hold on. Where are we? So we're just going to start return here because I've just dug it out with all the skid steer and everything up to that point, that yellow post. So um, this is going to be a mini retaining wall here. Basically, because the house is just there. So we'll have the retaining wall here, where the dog is, and then about a meter out, that will be the start of the house. So uh, we'll have a small pathway. So last final bit of digging. So this is the house plan. Um, this is the uh, the decking here. Now this is still based on two containers, one container there, second container there, and a three meter internal section um, from timber frame. But uh, we're gonna keep this overall layout, even if we build in SIPs or um, insulated uh, polystyrene block, C, F, something or other. <laughs> Um, so that's the plan we're going to work off now because that is what is with the local mayor and the planning permission has been granted on the basis of this. So let's get this set out on the newly cut lawn and we'll see how it goes. Yesterday we dug out these two footings and we marked out all the corners and put this pink line which actually works now as our datum line. And from this will be the back end of our retaining wall, the back face. And from this point on, today we're going to try and mark out exactly where the house is going to sit. So that's our next step now, get the tape measures and start measuring and marking datum lines for the house. That is 8.1. 8.1. But this one, and then we've got to do the inside one there. Yeah. So this one is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7.6. Orientation of the house is like that. So our back door is there with the decking and the kitchen, um, and that is due south. So all our solar panels will be on that side. This is north, it'll be our front door, but basically it'll be really our back door because um, we're not gonna have much of an entrance there. So the difference in height we have got, this is all relative. So my datum is 6.7. At the back here, it's around eight. So down here is 16, 16. So there's a difference of 80 centimeters just under a meter three foot from the back or this end of the house to the, to the far side yeah. so we need to dig that out um, like a cheese wedge basically we need to cut into this like a cheese and just slide this so it flattens it all out and then we'll have a nice deep 
um, sort of vide sanitaire, they're called a crawl space, um, a mini, a mini um, cellar, I suppose. But um, call it. But the the other point to this is we don't want the house to be mm. really high at the field end because we don't want lots of brickwork or anything. We want it to just yeah. sit nice. So we've got to work out yeah. that the floor level of the house is going to be sitting on the ground this side. But by the time it gets down to this end, we're going to be around 80 centimetres off. Yeah. But underneath that will be the, uh, the crawl space. Right, I think we're there. So um, next stage is to set the form boards on that retaining wall, um, get all that up. And then we're actually going to call in the same contractor that um, excavated for the garage. I'm not going to use my little machines, my mini machines, to dig all of this earth out. I'd rather have him in here for one hour. It'll take him about an hour take all this soil off and then I'll use my machines to move the soil over where we need it over the other side of the um, the flat walled area where we're going to have our um, garden so uh, yeah we've got direction and we've moved over we're, def we're definitely this side of the plot now I know and everybody everybody's been looking all our neighbors have been staring down at us saying what are they doing what are they doing because um, they have no idea where the house is going to go. So uh, even though it's on all the planning applications. Right, form boards next, and we're going to do that in the morning. So we'll see you tomorrow morning. Well, we were going to come back and start the form work, but it has been torrential rain. But it's a good idea that we have now seen all of this, because all along here will be another French drain right from the back coming around along here and then I'm going to carry it on over to where those posts are there and dig a very large soak away and that will then also have the drainage which finishes there come to it as well so that will all flow down the hill so that should be quite good well I hope you all enjoyed a bit of the house tour um, Doing it again after so long is really exciting for us. Yeah. Now we can see it laid out. We've got a few little minor adjustments. Um, but it's just, it's just nice knowing that we're progressing this side of the plot. Okay, we've still got work to do over there, but we're actually making progress this side. All our materials arriving on Wednesday this coming week. But we, I'm not gonna do anything more today because it is a bit of a muddy mess. So hopefully it'll dry out tomorrow. We'll get the form work in, in readiness for all the concrete and the cement arriving on Wednesday, and then we can start mixing. So, um, yep, give us our cheeky, cheeky thumbs, thumbs up, up. And we will see you in the next one where we actually start to build this wall and start excavating more for the house. Exciting times. See you then. Catch you next week.